What's up guys, this is Kawai and today we're gonna get into the new ocean, the purple ocean. Now we've already talked about the red ocean and the blue ocean but today I'm gonna get into more deep, a, a little bit deeper and then I'm gonna tell you guys about the purple ocean and that is the ocean that I learned from Stephen Larson. Now he is the one, I think, I guess he's the one who created it. So yeah, let's begin. <laughs> Hey guys, very excited to be here and very excited that you are here. So about three weeks ago, when I first got back to Myanmar, my friend told me that he was going to start a business. Awesome, right? So when he, he said that he was going to be an entrepreneur and his dad was going to help him, his dad actually gave him an opportunity to start a new restaurant. Now they already have um, experiences and knowledge on how to build a restaurant because his dad has already done it. So. He was going to do the same thing, but he was going to start from the ground up. So he was also also asking me like, "Hey, do you want to participate in this?" Like, so I was like, "Awesome! Of course, I'm gonna participate." So I'm just going to. I I thought like, "Oh, I'm going to give him some opinions and share my knowledge and such on what I've already learned." And you know, I can actually get some experience as well. So yeah, that's really cool right now. So we've been doing it for three weeks already and it's been improving a lot. Yeah, so one of the things that he said that really, when, when we were brainstorming, one of the things that he said really hit me and it made me think a lot. So that, that what he said was, he said like, oh, um, so I, I'm, he said like, I'm going to create some new dishes and I was surprised and I was like why, why would you create new dishes and he was like I want to be different I want to I want to take some new dishes from other countries and then I want to you know up, supply it right here because there nobody has already done it and that means when I heard that I was like oh he was going to create a blue ocean well that is cool that creating a blue ocean and you know supplying to the red ocean that's pretty good but one of the things that was that one of he had one problem right and that was what i noticed what i noticed was even though he was trying to create a blue ocean there was the, he still had to include some red ocean right because when you are creating a blue ocean which in, in whatever industry that you are in whether in restaurant or in on workout or fitness or in any industry that you are in you'd gotta have some red ocean products when you're creating a blue ocean offer you gotta have a red ocean product as well because if you are totally new people are afraid of change right so we, you can't just tell them to oh i'm going to give you a new thing you just come to me people are not gonna come because they don't know whether you are actually genuine or you are uh, even fake or not right so that's 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 the problem so people are like in in red ocean red ocean when you are going to sell something to the red ocean you know that it is safe because there are already customers there because it's red there are customers there who and there are proven techniques and strategies and proven products that actually sell so you know exactly what to do because others have already done it for you right but in blue ocean it is risky and in red ocean it is risky as well because they are competitors you have to compete with lots more competitors and you know that it will be the competition of price so you gotta have to offer them cheaper and cheaper and mostly yeah so for the blue ocean you're gonna have to you, you you're like it's even though it is totally new it is also risky because you don't know what you have to expect you there is no proven technique there is no proven statistic you don't know exactly whether people are gonna like it or not whether your customers are gonna like it or not you don't you don't even know who your customers are right you have to get those from the red ocean now that is called the purple ocean strategy and I learned that from Stephen Lawson and he, he was really good at it right he what he said was when you're creating a blue ocean your blue ocean has to come out of the red ocean because you can't just create a blue ocean. You have to know your red ocean pretty well to create a blue ocean and sell your blue ocean offers back to your red, red ocean. Now I'm gonna repeat that again. That is gold. Mic drop, I don't have a mic. Okay, some drop something, right? So yeah, so the blue ocean, your blue ocean has to come out of the red ocean, right? Your blue ocean has to come out of the red ocean and then your blue ocean offers have to be sold back to your red ocean 
only than the Red Ocean customers, the customers, there are lots of customers in the Red Ocean and they are going to come to you, right? So that is the Purple Ocean strategy. Now for example, one of the examples would be like one Steve Jobs created Apple or uh, iPhones and he was like, oh, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to, uh, you can use, um, you can use you can call people with this phone you can also listen to music with this phone you can watch videos and such and also you're gonna get only to touch the screen no more buttons and everybody is like oh where are the keypad what happened this is so cool right and then and then Steve Jobs is like it's right here for you and then everybody just takes it right but firstly when we think that everybody takes it it didn't start from there now firstly there were only a few customers and those are called the early adapters only a few customers would try that new thing because people are afraid of change and they don't really want to change because they are already okay with the ones that you were using so when they're gonna change they're gonna they, they don't know what to expect so they'll be like oh if i use this what what if something happens what if some difficulty happens they don't they, they don't know what to expect so that is what happens guys so only after about a few years then steve jobs could advertise to most people and everybody just buys that right and they those are called the late majorities and such right so more and more people are getting into the industry and they are buying the same they are buying from steve jobs because everybody else is doing it already right so now that is the red ocean so you gotta you gotta know what what you what to expect in your customers right from your customers I mean, from your customer's perspective, right? You have to understand your customers. So where are your customers coming from? They are from the red ocean. When you're creating a blue ocean, blue ocean technically means that you are the only one in there. So you don't have any proven techniques or strategies. So when you're going to create an offer and when you're going to create your blue ocean, make sure that your, your some of your products in your offer are from the red ocean. So that your customers will be like oh do, do can your product do this can your product do that and you can be like of course this it can do this of course it can do that and also you can do this new thing as well right henry ford once said that um if i asked if i ask my customers what they actually want then they're gonna be they're gonna tell me that they want a faster horse right he created a car he he is an entrepreneur entrepreneurs have ideas we innovate right so that but that is the blue ocean but people don't know but we have to ask people what they actually want as well so what they want is the things from are other things from the red ocean so at first they were only horses and when you ask people in those times what do you want then people will be like oh i want a faster horse i want a faster horse but then the entrepreneur has some ideas and they entrepreneurs think like oh i can create a car and a car is better than a horse but customers don't know that so you gotta you gotta have to there, there's a you have to mix both of them right so when you are offering something make sure that your offers are included some of the products in your offer are included from the red ocean and also some new ideas and products from the blue ocean and that is called the purple ocean strategy and that's all for today guys. See you later.